Today, the Biden administration reiterated that the U.S. stands with Israel as Israeli defense forces continue their barrage on Gaza. The first shipments of munitions from the U.S. has arrived in Israel, along with several warships. And the White House is also working to determine the whereabouts of at least 17 Americans who went missing in Israel after that surprise Hamas invasion over the weekend. We know at least 22 Americans have been confirmed dead. Let's get more from ABC's Rena Roy. As the crisis deepens in the Middle East, with both Hamas militants and Israel Defense Forces continuing their attacks, the Biden administration saying they'll do whatever it takes to stand by Israel. My commitment to Israel's security and the safety of the Jewish people is unshakable. President Biden speaking with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu again Wednesday morning. We have to be crystal clear. There is no justification for terrorism. Meanwhile, the Washington Post capturing the acting U.S. ambassador to Israel getting emotional. I'm, I'm just um, it's emotional being here as a as mom, especially and hearing the stories of, of children uh, who were um, killed and abducted from here. The, the sights, the sounds and the smells are unimaginable. Israel's defense ministry releasing these images of a cargo plane delivering what they say is the first shipment of munitions from the U.S. And the White House says more help is on the way. The Gerald R. Ford Carrier Strike Group with several warships arrived in the region and the Pentagon increased the number of American F-35 and F-15 warplanes in the Middle East along with a replenishment for Israel's Iron Dome air defense system. This as U.S. officials try to track down at least 17 missing Americans. At least 22 have been confirmed dead. Secretary of State Antony Blinken Hello, heading to Israel Wednesday afternoon. We lost 22 Americans. That number could still go up, and it probably will.